What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the top 5 best war robots as of this moment right now in the game. A video you guys wanted me to make a lot, and here I am delivering on that, and I'm setting one on top of that or two. Um, I'm not just giving you the top 5 best war robots right now, I'm also including the new Skyros robot from the test server, right? At the end of this video, I'll let you know where I place the Skyros in terms of power in the hangar. Is it gonna be, is it gonna be place 1 then, or 5? Let's see. Okay, and also, I'm giving you the drone drones uh, setups to each robot because it that's kind of what makes them so powerful too, you know? And also you get the modules and on top and uh, obviously pilots as well. Let's make a deal, you and me, right now. If you like this video at the end or you found anything useful in it whatsoever, then you'll subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Deal? Deal. So, the top five. Um, let me first begin with the drone setups. In my opinion, there's two types of drones you need. One drone for tanks and one drone for assassins. You see three tanks to the left. Rob tanks are those who re rely on their HP, on their resistance, and stay in the game a long time and hard to take down. Those are tanks. And then there's assassins, those who offer tremendous firepower, who are a little squishy to play because they can be killed fast, but they do tremendous damage, okay? And, uh, and that's where you also find the drones. You see the same th setup here. We have three tank drones and we have two assassin drones. And the tank drone is always, in my opinion, the best drone you can buy, built. The Nebula drone with 58% HP instant fix, suppressor on it, most importantly. And then the double, double module on repair defense unit, right? On repair unit. That gives you 160 resistance points when it's uh, on orange legendary level for 7 seconds acti after activating it. Uh, resist, uh, re uh, repair, uh, repair module and that will give you keep, you keep you in the game. And then of course the uh, on mild damage absorber. This is the three tank drones. The assassin drones look like this. We have the paralysis drone for a lockdowner that's built in. We have suppressor, suppressor again on slot A. Then we have instead of the repair thing on the tank drones, the on repair use damage, okay? That is 35% damage boost for 7 seconds every time you activate active modules. That's twice 70%. And of course also the on mild damage absorber. This is generally how I make my robots the strongest as they can be. Let's combine this with the pilot skills. Whenever it's possible, we use a legendary pilot for the robots, adding another ability charge, for example, on the Ravana. And very important, also, we want to always have um, that uh, all active modules recharge faster, because that gets you the active module faster, which means you have the resistance or the increased damage more often, too. Just to make this clear, without the legendary pilot, the Mender would not be in this list. The reason it's in there is because of Marie Leclerc restoring grey HP area here. Also, every pilot that has the ability to get you Deft Survivor or Clever Survivor, you will always have this in there because it gets you another ability charge at 50%. Same goes for the active module recharging at 50%. Every durability increase you, you use, you, you take all the active module recharge speeds, and uh, repairability boosts in this case too, and speed is usually key in the game as well for the meta. You might ask, why is the Capri not in here but the Mender? It's because currently the Capri does not have a legendary pilot that makes grey HP healing possible, and this is an incredibly important thing if you want to provide support, and the Mender does that better than any other robot. I rather want to have a Mender next to me than a Capri, to be honest, and that is why the Mender made it in, not the Capri. If the Capri, however, gets a pilot that restores Grey HP effectively, then this would probably take its place. In terms of modules, uh, we utilize on every robot nuclear amplifier. There's no way around this, it's way too good for just occupying one slot. Has to be in there everywhere. Doesn't matter if tank or assassin, you want that in there, if possible. I'm giving you the optimum, you may not have all of that but I'm giving you the best of the best. Uh, the repair amplifier comes in, in play on every tank except the Mender because it brings the ability itself. And, uh, and then of course anti-control in my opinion also something you want on every single robot right now. Uh, there are very few exceptions, you could run the Revenant with a balanced unit instead and such, but uh, because it also has the ability of providing uh, immunity to these effects when the ability runs, I still kind of really like to go with the added anti-control. Um, and the uh, same, the Assassins play the same way, uh, but some of them, because they are so squishy, they have a last stand in there too, to survive longer. Now that was drones, that was modules, uh, on every robot is advanced healing, by the way, right? So let's jump into the actual gameplay and show you, after three and a half minutes of talking, which one, which, which robots are 
under consideration of these modules and drones now the best, okay? Let's go for it. So, and the weakest of these top five robots is... The Ravana! Remember that top five still means they are among the best robots in the game. Even though this, I call this the weakest of these robots, it still is an insane beast. So, see what I mean here, okay? We have an enemy Ravana coming up, especially with those Havocs. This guy doesn't really stand the slightest chance. He gets deleted, same as the, um, the Orochi that was here. And those of you who follow my content know that I consider this one of the most powerful robots. And uh, let me show you why and how this is the case. I'm ignoring the, the enemy Revenant here. I'm re activating extra resistance by uh, activating healing. Breaking through the physical shield of the tier robot. Trying to drop his last stand. There it is. And boom. There he goes. Okay. Now. Now it's time to kill the Rav uh, Revenant here. Because he had his ability. He's not going to be recharging any of the damage we do now to him. And uh, boom. He gets a healing back from the regular heal. Yep. But uh, that's because of the damage that was done to the by the other guy. Here we have a Lancelot. A very rare sight these days. And I'm just gonna wait right through all his rockets that he's doing. And then once he's out of ammo, I have someone behind me with Havocs. Very dangerous. Very powerful setup. Okay. There we go. Nice. Now, uh, I'm still in the game and I'm still kicking some serious butt here. This might be the Scorpion. Yep. I'm not gonna give him another chance to jump on me. And this guy also taking damage. This guy's leeched me. I only looked at him and he started leeching. I only looked at him for a second. Oh, come on. Come on now. Boom, boom, boom. Look how fast they all drop by these, by these insane weapons. Yeah, he's stalling all his time now. He knows he's down in one hit. Look at this. He's using all his abilities now. It doesn't even make any sense or he doesn't even need to use them, but he does it anyways because he, know he can. A, he can. So, single firing against shields, living legend, easy. I'm probably gonna get blackouted soon by this guy over there. Uh, he's got me focused pretty well, so now he's gone. Okay, a Fafnir fly flew up in the air, activating extra resistance and hitting that fl Fafnir in the air. There he goes. This guy must go down to living legend. Tell me that this is not one of the most powerful setups that exists in the game. Okay, and eventually eventually I do get destroyed, but this is how much it took, okay? So, and the top four best robot in the game as of right now, especially with support character, is the Mender, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if the Kepri gets a support where it restores gray HP, then maybe that will take its place. Probably it would. Uh, but for the moment, that is not in the game. And look how fast we are with the ability uh, and also the Kepri support in this case. Uh, let's go grab the beacon and then we're going in to maintain the health of our friendlies. And I'll show you what I mean. The weapon choice I have here allows me to bypass even Titan resistance. So when later Titans are spawning in, we can do a lot with this. Let's go and... Uh, and stand here together with the Capri. Him and me were going to uh, pretty much carry this match, probably. Right? We should be able to keep each other healed all the time. He's got the Devastator weapons. I got the anti-resistance uh, weapons. So it's a good mix right here. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm sticking right with this guy. Starting the Grey HP healing once more. Here, keeping us both at maximum health. And that is it. Boop. Capturing this beacon, going for the center. No, actually, wait a minute, we're staying here because the enemy is going to respawn robots uh, in their base. Unfortunately, I didn't get to uh, to uh, start the suppression on him. But he's going down pretty fast, especially with his uh, de Devastator weapons, or Scatter in this case. Uh, he's doing more damage than I do, uh, but the, and, and it's also a choice. You could also run this with Scatter and, and the Devastator, uh, no, Scatter and Havoc here on the Mender. But the version we're running here is the one where, uh, even against Titans, we are still very effective. And that is something I wanted to stick with. So, apparently we are uh, t defending our base now. There is someone who really needs my help. That's the uh, the shell robot in front of us. And you see I can keep them in the game pretty much indefinitely. Uh, by just standing with him and restoring his grey HP like that. See, he's gonna get that full restore. 
Almost to 70%. One more time and he would be pretty much full. We're running again in here. Enemy is in control of most of the beacons, which is funny. Because uh, we're really doing a great job there, but... Apparently the enemy's pretty good too. So, this shell is no, not with us, but... We're starting the healing one more time. And everything just dies all around us. I'm adding here a green healing. He sees that and he's probably gonna stay in that. Getting both of us a shield. Yep. So he definitely is more of a damage dealer than I am. Uh, but I'm the one who makes sure that we can never get killed, right? That's the great thing about this, is that we might not be much of a killer like he is, but we make sure that no one gets to kill us ever. While he makes us stronger, um, the, the mender makes sure there's no one ever going to be able to kill us. So, even just now, he's suppressed, I'm activating extra resistance, and with all those people around us, look how much gray HP I can restore at the same time. Not even a titan can stand a chance, doesn't st uh, stand, ugh, stands a chance, Jesus, English, please, work for me. Alright, there we go. Unlimited health is the reason why the mender stays in the game and has this position in my ranking, and um, yeah. So, the third best robot in the game right now is the Assassin Orochi. There are many very good setups with it. You could run it with uh, with Devastators to be insane with your uh, heal prevention on them. Very, very strong close range setup, even better than this one here in close range. Also, Thunders and Glory even works. You could run it with Avalanche, or of course, uh, one of the maybe best all-rounders would be here, uh, the Homing Bullets with Smuta. Of course, Double Puncher. Let's not forget Double Puncher is also an insane good strong setup it is uh, in super powerful at short short range and super powerful at long range but you see I'm able to show you here that the homing bullets they allow you this tactical extra thing that you can simply attack from around the corner and you without leading line of sight and that really look how I'm slaughtering the enemy team here simply because I have the option to, to uh, go right through uh, the enemy um, uh, the uh, what no yeah, right around the corner. That's what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say. Because I have the ability to ignore cover. This shell robot has already lost many of its physical shields. I don't think he's going to make it much longer. But of course, one, whenever he pops up those purple shields, I have to stop firing. And, um... Yeah, so the uh, siren or whatever it is. No, it's a harpy. Is flying up. Let's wait for... Look how fast we are. This is just nuts. And boop, there goes this guy, pretty much dead, dead now. Don't think I can actually hit him around- Oh, I was able to hit him around that corner. That's impressive. That's impressive what the weapon just did for us here. Alright, let's focus him. And this is just one Orochi that we're using to slaughter the entire enemy team. I, again, look, I'm simply escaping. I'm simply, simply escaping all that enemy attack because we have the necessary speed for it. And uh, for those who are aware of many metas in many games, speed has always been meta in every game. It d doesn't matter if it's uh, if it's World of Tanks or if it's War Robots, speed is meta. So, and the second most powerful robot in the game right, right now, ladies and gentlemen, is the Revenant here. Absolute insane beast of a tank and assassin alike because you can jump on the enemy, therefore he also has an assassin uh, playstyle. Um, with a teleport through walls and everything. Uh, but with this robot, you can easily tele uh, jump onto multiple opponents and brawl them down, no problem. For example, I'm gonna choose this guy right now. I'll be in four people. I will have four people next to me. Um, and I'll probably be able to handle this rel relatively easily. There goes the first guy. So I'm even capturing their beacon here. It's white. And we have plenty of Orochis coming in from all angles and directions. Look. I'm almost full HP still. Three or four shots with these weapons and they're down to low HP. So. He's probably gonna enter the next stealth, that's okay. I knew that was gonna happen. And uh, look, I'm still full HP here. And I'm jumping on these guys now. Boop, first one dies. Even the tank Fenrir, not a problem because his healing is not working against this particular setup. Everything he does now as damage is restored anyways for me. And then I'm starting to heal once my ability runs out giving me extra resistance, waiting out the suppression, and then we're gonna start to deal damage uh, to this Fenrir and drop him real quick. And you see, we literally have the entire team on me right now. I, I mean, and not the entire team, but most of them. There's four people on me right now, five probably even. And um, yeah, it works rather nicely. There was even an Inquisitor I just saw. <laughs> so that is a really powerful tank spider here giving myself extra healing 
And this is the insanity that a, a Revenant offers. I cannot get a line of sight to this spider anymore. So everyone is pummeling in between now. Okay, here we go. That is the Inquisitor from before. He's going to be able to jump any moment now. But he's not going to be doing it anymore. Got him. Teleporting over here. Attacking the leech. And boop. There goes the leech too. Activating resistance and heal. Here we have a, Ke a Kepri around us. And plenty of enemies all around. I think now I'm going, going down finally. But um, yeah, I think that was a pretty impressive display of why I consider this robot such a monster. Can we kill him? Yes, we can. Living legend. We're actually still in the game even. It's unbelievable, but we are actually still in the game. Activating here healing. Boom, boom, boom. He's trying to run away. He did get it, and I think now I'm going to die because he bypassed the remaining shield. Boom. That was one Revenant. And the strongest setup in the game right now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, is Siren or Harpy currently with a legendary pilot and the homing bullet weapons. Um, that would uh, that just makes the bis biggest difference in the game. Uh, there's no one is safe anywhere. Uh, you can hit around every corner, kill people left and right, as you see right here. You have tremendous firepower. With a death survivor skill, you get the ability a second time, which is just insane. Um, I, I find it very curious that they gave the Harpy uh, this ability because, or the Harpy and Siren, because in my opinion, it was already too crazy. It would, would be even too crazy without that. And um, you see here, this guy's going down. The guy down died from the Harpy attack. Uh, Fafnir's just get eaten alive now because their physical, their, their energy shields do not work. And I have such an easy time just breezing through everything they, they throw at me here. It's so easily. Um, they just sent an airstrike on me. Um, I'm gonna hit whatever this is. And then this guy. I can also reach positions that other players or other p people can't reach from where I'm safe. Uh, from enemy attacks. Okay. Let's heal up. Add resistance and extra damage here. Okay, let's see if we can take this guy down. Yes, we can. Boop, there he goes. And the enemies are now having titans all, all everywhere. So, healing back up. We still have all our weapons. I can still corner shoot and banana around the corner. No, I'm now getting attacked from behind. This guy is really relentless there. Now the final question, as I promised in the beginning of this video, is where do we place the brand new robot Skyros that is currently tested on the test server? A little Aegis shield on him as well. It can transform into a ball with insane resistance and then transform back out of it any moment it wants to to deal massive damage and unleash a real hellstorm on the enemy and then get back into a ball. For any beacon boys based game mode, this speed in combination with the resistance is very useful in capturing beacons, so it's very very relevant in the meta right now. Speed and mate is speed is anyways very important as usual. Then that little shield is gonna protect it and help it, and also the firepower, one medium, one light, one heavy, is actually a decent firepower too. Um, so yeah, I would place this Skyros robot between place three and place two. So between the Orochi and between the Revenant. It's uh, it's a it's a little better maybe than the Orochi because of that rolling and that resistance and the options it brings, um, especially in beacon modes also. Um, uh, but it might not quite be as powerful and impactful as the Revenant, but uh, I might be wrong. This is just my idea right now. We haven't seen it in the meta yet. So this is my current assumption um, that I would place it between those. It would definitely make it into the top five. I think that is out of, that that much is clear that it will be within the top five, no problems. Uh, but um, where exactly is the question here? And in my opinion, that would be, um, well, basically place three right now, making Re uh, Orochi be place four and Mender place five and Ravana place six, basically, okay? It would push the Ravana out of my personal ranking. And remember our deal, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked the video or you found something helpful, then subscribe, please. And uh, yeah, so for now, this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with you guys. Awesome as always. Money signing off. Bye-bye.